Hey, welcome back to track two of Plone Conference 2021. I'm here with Mike, and he is a longtime Plone community member. He's been on the framework team. He's a core developer. He's also run a bunch of trainings. Uh, he's going to be talking to us about how to develop Plone add-ons with Plone CLI. And Mike, when you're ready. Yeah, thank you. Uh, welcome. I want to give you a short introduction, what you can do uh, with some tooling we have provided over the years to uh, speed up your development. So let's get into it. How can we develop more efficiently in Plon? And what do we expect from the tooling? I would say, it should be easy to adapt for new developers. It should reduce our development time. Also following best practice and give, uh, give us uh, infrastructure and basic test coverage. These are our two friends for now. One is the Plone CLI, which also uh, heavily based on uh, Bob Templates Plone. And we also have uh, Plone snippets for a plugin for VS Code, which we will see in action soon. What is the Plone CLI? The Plone CLI is a user-friendly front-end for Mr. Bob and Bob Templates Plone. This is an example. So we have short commands, we have auto, auto completion if we activate it, and we can create an add-on, we can add features in that add-on. The whole thing uh, is iteratively, so you create an add-on, it's a basic add-on, nothing, nothing in it, and then you decide what features do you want. Do you want the view, do you want the content type, do you want to make it a theme, and so on. Let's build something. What about a little add-on for Plone, a rest of our add -on. What are we gonna build? We will build a content type to manage our menu data. We will create a vocabulary for the menu category. We will also add a control panel to manage the categories which are available. And we also will add a small REST API service so that we get related dishes directly on our menu entry. So the first thing is um, the control panel. Here we will have a list of menu categories in the vocabulary. We will also have a menu category which will then uh, read uh, the data from the uh, config registry from our control panel. We have our content types, the menu content type, which is a container and the uh, menu item, which holds our actual dish. So let's get on the terminal. Here we see we have uh, Plone CLI in the current version and also the recent, most recent version of Bomb Tablets Plone. What we can do here is we can use Plone CLI create. Oh, that's too early. So we will create an add on. We will call it restaurant. Relative restaurant. We keep the defaults here. Of course, you can add a description, but and the Plone version uh, right now has not much to say. It's more to make a difference between major versions and some templates. Since this is uh, now already Plone 6, there are not many differences anyway. So you can just keep the defaults. So now we have our add-on. This is a basic add-on. We can now add more features. 
we want want to start with a control panel and we will call this restaurant control panel let's start vs code i will put this on another screen so So now we can inspect what we have so far. We have our control panel here in the control panels folder. There we have this Python file. There's already an example, but we don't want this field. What we want is uh, a list field. menu categories so I also give it a title and that's it we go back to the terminal Let's create a vocabulary. We will get now a warning because we didn't commit our manual changes, but I will ignore this. Don't do this in when you normally develop, but I need to hurry up a bit. So the Vocabulary will be called menu category. And here also you see the name you can use later to use the vocabulary. The next step will be to create a content type. first content type is menu. That's a container, we keep that. We allow it globally. We want to filter, yes. And uh, default behaviors we disable, we will manually enable just some of them. So we create another one. This is our menu item. I could also do a container, but we just need an item here. Globally, no. Now we have to provide the parent container, which is the menu. We also disable the default behaviors. That's it for now with the clone CLI. So what do we have? We have our control panel. We have our vocabulary and we have our content items. Let's start with the vocabulary. By default, there are some samples in it, but we will replace the samples so we don't need this what we will do here is we will use the python api to get a record from the registry that's the record when we save something in the 
control panel. So the, we also need the import of the Plone API, which I just enabled. So this part, we don't need either. Instead, we have these two lines. So we create a vocabulary and then we use the from values to create from the list we have here, uh, the actual vocabulary. That's all we have to do there. Let's see, we have the menu here. For the menu, we don't have to do anything. But on the menu item, we want to have some fields. Let's remove the example content. Since we can use the VS Code snippet, it's rather simple. So what we want to do here is we want to add an image field. We call it photo. Here as the common state, we have to make sure that the import is there. We need name file field and we, all, uh, we also need the uh, message factory. That should be it. So the next will be a choice field called menu. So normally if you use the tab completion and don't change, you can actually have this as a selection here, but we don't need this anyway. So if you use the tab uh, completion, you jump from field to field. Uh, but if you go up and down with the cursor, then uh, that's not the case anymore. Yeah, great. What we want here is the name of the of our vocabulary. So we have this at vocabulary and we have here the name. So we save that. And that should be it. We have to import this schema for GCR. That should be fine. Okay. We have the vocabulary now. We only need to make sure that the FDI settings are correct. This is our menu. Let's enable the two behaviors here. And the same on the menu item. Only here we want rich text and related items too. So these are default functionalities from, from Plone. We can just uh, use, we don't have to 
recreate the fields ourselves. So we could already say plants here I built. This will create a virtual environment, as you can see. It will also install all the requirements, then run build out. And after that, we can start it. This will give us uh, a local development environment inside the package so that we can work with the package independently of other packages. So this takes a bit, but hopefully not too long. What you can also do um, is you can run other uh, commands like uh, clone, clone uh, CLI serve clone CLI test, and you can also chain them. So you can have build, test, and surf, and then it will build, test, and uh, afterwards surf. But let's just use surf. Surf is just running bin instance FG, as most of you probably know what that is. So now we can open the clone site. Admin, admin. I will switch to English. And I will also directly enable this our add-on and the, also the clone REST API. Ah. Wrong item. So we have our menu already here. Inside the menu, we can create menu items or not. Ah. We didn't. set any defaults here. So let's go with this. Also, let's configure the navigation so that we can see our menu in the top navigation. Which we don't. Okay. Then we go this way. So let's add a new item. Let's 
start with a burger. That's a main dish. Then we have some starters. So if we now look with a JSON call in the REST API, we will find our menu. We will find in the menu our menu items. And if we open our menu item, we have access to all the data through the REST API. And now what I would like to have um, without, we could uh, with additional requests already um, make some extra calls and find out uh, which other dishes have the same category set. But what we want to do instead is uh, we want to use uh, REST API service for that. Just open it from here. Okay, we will give it, that's fine. We give it the name related dishes. The rest we can keep the same. Then we have here API, API service related dish. If you look here, this is a bit boilerplate. The interesting part is here. And what we will do here is, let me just, Copy this to save some time. But you see, it's pretty much searching for some content and iterating over the content. I think I Stop the hint engine a bit. Now, okay, what this does is it 
looks at the current context there's if there's a field uh, menu category we uh, take it then we will build a query we would want to search for a menu item with the menu uh, category set in the current context so if the current context is starters we will find all uh, with starters we will skip when we iterate over then we will skip the current item because it doesn't make sense to have this as as uh, related dishes and then we will give back the main information we want to use then later so this is one thing uh, to be able to search for the for the content we actually need an index so we can go in catalog can use catalog index menu category and also this is what i mean if you use the tab uh, then you get this uh, list of but the field index is fine we also want to Luca have the meetup column so one thing we can also do is and we should do is create an upgrade step don't say i can help you with that too What this does is it creates for every every time you use it a new uh, upgrade step in here and you have a python file by default it blocks something it uh, uses a method to just reload the current profile because that's what most of the time you want um, but you can do other steps here in python and you can also have uh, um, some registry entries like from the profiles everything you have here you can put uh, in the folder and uh, then this you can also load but for now this should be okay so if you go on setup now um, add-ons We will have our upgrade step and let's try. Um, you will find the new service here. Normally you could uh, or you should call this uh, separately in a separate call, but you can also use the expand feature of the Plone REST API which we will do now and that means that uh, our did i the dishes Uh, probably doesn't find anything and the reason is I forgot to also no oh, management to re-index the index um, we created we created a new index with our field but the content we created uh, before so the index need to, needs to be rebuilt. This is also a good example which you could do directly from the upgrade step. So 
So now our menu category has some entries. See if we see no more. Now we see here, this is unfolded and we see on the context of our eggplant salad, we have also our related dishes and this only contains um, other dishes from the same category. So our burger is not here, but uh, our second starter dish is here. This is a good example uh, how you can use the um, REST UI services to reduce the complexity on the client side. If you now build a client, it's way easier because you, you, you just call one uh, URL and the JSON data, uh, which comes back, has everything you need. Um, there might be more uh, things coming for the Plune CLI, but uh, for now, that's what I want to show in the demo. Yeah, please uh, contribute. We have a lot of uh, templates. Um, maybe I can just show you Plune CLI list. Here you see we have a lot of templates uh, inside the add-on template. So you can create behaviors, uh, content type, control panel, indexer, portlets, REST API service we uh, saw, um, subscriber, Svelte apps, uh, different theme uh, variations, views, uh, viewlets, and vocabularies. Then we have also build out, which is basically when you want to bootstrap like a small build out to, to test or anything. Um, the last one is already removed. It's, uh, I don't know why it's showing here. So, um, so yeah, you can help by just uh, improving edit existing ones or like some people already uh, did in the past uh, con contributing new ones. Not all of the templates we have here are made by me. Um, and if you have any ideas uh, how to do things better, if you're not happy with some, some uh, stuff the templates provide you, then just uh, give us a hint. Um, some, some things for the future, there might be REST API support for, um, uh, yeah, for serializers and uh, other stuff or more uh, questions also. Um, one thing which probably will come this year on uh, latest early next year will be mosaic tile support. And yeah, there are some other ideas uh, if you want to sprint on it um, join me either on the weekend or uh, you can also find me on the almost every first day we sprint on the classic ui for example and uh, you will find me there also just ping me on this on discord so that's it you can find me as Mr. Tango on GitHub, on Discord, and uh, Tangoman78 on Twitter. Thank you, Mike. That was great to see such a detailed view on the tooling behind building clone components. Uh, we do have some questions, but I think we should probably take them into the face-to-face -face Jitsi, which the link I posted into the track two channel on our Slack. Yeah. Um, and thank you very much. That was that was great. Thank you.